This is the matching top, super cute. Hi guys, it's Sam, welcome back to my channel. So, there might be a huge bump forming right here on my head because literally 0.2 seconds ago, I took this thing down and it whacked me in the head. So, that is always great, great start to my video of a summer night in my life. So right now it's around three o'clock and I know it's not the night time, but I just wanted to vlog and take you through my night. So it's gonna be like a day in my life, but more the night. I have some interesting things planned today. Also, peep my Caroline Manning sweatshirt shirt that I got from her Poshmark. I love it. It's like a little butterfly and it matches my Princess Polly earring. So anyways, right now I'm going to quick check. I just had maintenance done on my car. I got an oil change and a tire rotation. I'm going to get the vacuums and just vacuum out my car and then lay all it down and everything. And then I'm going to go to Walmart and don't worry, I have my face mask right here. And what I'm going to do at Walmart is I'm going to try and get these like cookie mixes that are already colored so they come in like pink blue i think there's a purple one everything like that i saw ariana lee on tiktok do this and i really wanted to do it and try it out so credit to you if you're watching this i literally love you definitely go check out her tiktok because she's amazing you guys probably all know her because she's amazing oh my head really hurts ow okay i'm exaggerating a little but i'm like scared of getting a bump on my head because my birthday is in exactly seven days from when this video goes up and that's just exciting why did i say seven days it should have been a week let's go to quick check we have a little bit of a situation i went to quick check and there was a really long line for the vacuum so i'm gonna go there now again but i went to walmart and they didn't have the cookie dough that i needed and i'm actually really sad about it but i'm still gonna make it i'm just gonna make my own cookie dough and then tie-dye it so it'll still work i'm just upset that i couldn't use the same one as her because it looked really good but i did get something and i'm so excited about it i got a waffle maker it's on the floor i will show you guys what it looks like when i get home because i'm sweating right now it's like 80 degrees i'm in sweatpants and a sweatshirt i don't know why i don't make good choices sometimes so I'm gonna go clean my car out at quick check not sure if I'm gonna vlog that because it's not very entertaining I just got home and I once again did not vacuum my car because there was a line like you would not believe it was longer than the first time so I guess I'm either gonna do it by myself like with vacuums that I have at my house or I'm just gonna wait until it's not Memorial Day weekend and then I will go wash my car and clean it but let me show you guys the waffle maker okay so this is the waffle maker it's just a regular waffle maker it was around like 20 to 30 dollars which isn't that bad the lighting is probably extremely bad up here but i wanted to update you guys so i just had some popcorn i didn't film that because i didn't think it was that interesting i am in my attic right now because all morning and basically all day up until i started filming i was sorting through my american girl dolls because i posted a message thing on this group chat i'm in on facebook because i'm trying to sell them and a lady answered and she might want to buy all of them which would be amazing so i'm just gonna show you guys my collection that my grandma bought me since i was a little kid i haven't used these in like 12 years they've just been in my attic so i think it's time to sell them i'm keeping one just for memory purposes and for the future if i have a little girl then obviously i want to give it to her but these are the ones i am selling so i'm gonna show you that really quick so i have this one i think her name is nelly and then i have this one i think that's felicity don't quote me on any of this because i might be completely wrong then i have this one she's in a cheer outfit i literally have so much american girl doll stuff um this one is kit i don't know who that one is this one is julie this one i don't know who that one is and this one is bitty baby and then i have like all like matching sets as well that i used to wear like with the doll so we we're matching and then I just have some like random shoes and clothes and like a little hat and oh, that's not a hat and like scarves and stuff like that. But yeah, this is everything I'm selling. So hopefully she ends up buying all of it. My mom really wanted me to include this in the vlog because it's a good memory for my grandma to look back on. We spent a lot of time at American Girl when I was growing up and I'm so appreciative of her and everything that she bought me. It's just I got older and I want to give it to another little girl or little child that would like it as much as I did when I was that age. So I just wanted to include this in the vlog because even though I don't use them anymore, 
anymore. I did a lot when I was little and they did mean a lot to me and I know this part of the vlog will mean a lot to my grandma so that's why I'm including it. Comment down below if you ever had an American Girl doll or if you've ever been to the American Girl cafe because those sugar cookies are just really good. Their whole menu is just really good. It's literally like 60,000 degrees up here. Look, I could literally fall down this thing. Hi. Okay, that's probably not safe. I changed. This is the new outfit of the day. I'm just wearing this Abercrombie and Fitch t-shirt. It's my brother's. I actually did used to work there though. I don't know why I keep moving my hand so much. I'm sorry. And then I'm wearing these black sweats, which are from my high school. And even though I said this 10,000 times already, let's just go make cookies before I stall it anymore. All right, so I'm finally in my kitchen and I'm just gonna look up a basic sugar cookie recipe, make the cookie dough, and I'll probably do a little montage of that. And then when I'm actually going to start tie dyeing, I will come back on. Last time I filmed in this area of my house, the whole entire time I filmed, it was out of focus. So I made sure like 20 times that it was in focus this time. And I actually deleted that video Video off my channel or just made it private because it was really upsetting me of how out of focus it was even though I really liked the video but I just made this like really big layer cake it's actually still in my house so I can show you it doesn't look good now but I put all the layers in the cake this was supposed to be swirl this was strawberry this was chocolate this was red velvet and this was vanilla and then I just put marshmallow frosting in the middle and vanilla on the outside and it was surprisingly really good that's what it looks like it's still standing and I'm just gonna bake these cookies now because I'm stalling again. One and a half cups of sugar. We gotta level it off. It's a lot of sugar. I mean, I guess they're sugar cookies, so I guess that makes sense. Definitely not healthy for you. Okay, I'm gonna stop talking and cue montage. Okay, so I just separated the dough into two separate bowls and I'm gonna put red in one and then I think like blue in the other because I'm gonna try to make the red very light, so like a pinkish color. And then I'm just gonna take two little portions of each dough and then roll them together and it should be like tie-dye-ish, so let's just give this a try. I was trying to avoid having to use my hands, but I'm going to have to use my hands, so I'm gonna get gloves. So this is what the red little dough ball looks like. I think it looks pretty good. It's like a not completely red, but kind of red, kind of pinkish color, which is good. Now I'm gonna do the blue and then we will mix them together. So this is the blue color and like I said, it's like a lighter blue. It's not very dark. It's kind of like teal, light blue color and I think it'll look good together. So I'm going to now take a little portion of each dough and roll them together and see how they turn out. So this is what they look like before going into the oven. I think they look really cute and I just realized that they're kind of Memorial Day colors since this looks like red and that's blue. I don't know why I felt the need to explain that but I am filming this on Memorial Day so it's very festive and in the spirit. I'm gonna pop them in the oven and then I'll show you the end result. These ones look so more tie-dye. They look very like marbly and it's purple, pink, and blue which is like cotton candy which is awesome. I just looked at the cookies. I took a little sneak peek of them in the oven. Oh my gosh, they look so yummy and so festive. Such like cotton candy flavors. I'm so excited for you guys to see the end result. Right now I'm just in my room. I'm getting my computer so I can start some homework because I am in summer classes, but I'll talk about that a little later. Hello. Hi. Hi, puppy. Dally. Dally. Say hi. She doesn't like cameras. Okay, I'll stop. Still waiting for the cookies to come out of the oven, but I recently noticed that my dog does not like cameras. And I don't know why, whenever I put a camera like on her, she'll look the other way like this. And I don't really know why, because nothing bad has ever happened with a camera. So it's weird, but when it's a phone, it's different. Like she doesn't tend to look away, so it's weird. They just came out of the oven. Ignore that buzzing sound. It's my stove. I don't know why it does that, but don't they look so good? They are very hot, but I'm gonna show you. They're really golden, so they're done, and it looks perfectly like cotton candy. I'm gonna let them cool, and then we will break one open to see the inside and maybe give it a little try. These smell so heavenly. I'm going to break one open. Let's see. Looks like this. We're gonna break another one open because this one's like, I feel like not as good as it should look. 
like this one looks really cool i feel like all in all these look pretty good let's try another one. Ooh, that one looks good can you see that hopefully you guys can see that but let's give it a little try okay wow these are so good definitely recommend this recipe i'll have it linked below if i can find it again because i deleted it off my phone but i could probably figure it out yeah these are so good i am going to go finish school and i will talk to you guys in a little bit all right so it is a lot while later now i did school for about an hour and a half i want to say it is so beautiful out it's around like 6 45 ish and i cannot like tell you guys how nice it is outside it's still light out the sun is beating on my skin okay not at the moment i'm in the shade but it was beating on my skin and it felt so so nice i was actually doing school inside as you guys saw and then i decided to come outside and enjoy the nice weather i still am in my sweatpants but it's not that bad because i'm in like braids and a t-shirt so i'm really enjoying the outside weather i was gonna tan but i don't think the uv index is high enough for me to tan because it is later in the day and i kind of miss like the peak of the day to tan so maybe i'll do that next week because i do want to look tan for my birthday but for now i'm just gonna chill and i'll update you guys later all right so it's a little while later it's around like 7 45 now i went on a walk with my brother and it was really nice we walked our dog i didn't film that just because i don't know i didn't really feel like filming it i just wanted to enjoy the weather and the walk and and everything like that right now i'm going through my bathing suits because summer is approaching and i have to sort through my bathing suits because for those of you who don't know i was a lot heavier last year and i did lose around 60 pounds i'll have the video up here of how i did that if you want to see the story time and everything like that but that's for a whole different video this is my huge bin of bathing suits so i thought i would show you guys some of my favorite ones some of them are new some aren't this is actually one of my favorite bathing suits i haven't worn it yet and i don't know if it'll fit i'm hoping it'll fit but this is the first one if i remember where they are all from i will let you know this one is from abercrombie and fitch it's a really pretty yellow color which i feel like will make me look more tan the next bathing suit i have is red i literally love red attire especially during the summer so i got these little bottoms and this is what the back looks like definitely full coverage in the back and in this video i won't be trying them on but if you do want to see a video like that just let me know and i'll think about doing it i'm kind of still insecure about my body so i'm not sure if i'll do it but definitely sometime in the future but i got these in a size large and then the matching top to that is this super cute has the little ruffles again and it's strapless this one is a little small so i don't really wear it that often and the material isn't the greatest it kind of like feels cheap but it's really cute and i do like it just maybe not for an everyday wear the next bathing suit and the last one i'm going to show is super cute it's striped and it is from i don't know i'm sorry but this is the back this is the front it is super super cute and then this is the matching top super cute and i think together they look adorable but you can obviously wear this with like black bottoms or like the same color blue bottoms or any color in here but i think they look best together which is really really cute i realized that this is a very long bathing suit haul so i'm probably gonna crop half of these out but it's okay <laughs> okay so i just talked for about 20 minutes about bathing suits so something i realized that i can do is just show you guys in one whole video about my bathing suits so i'm gonna leave a couple of the clips in but know that those aren't all my favorite bathing suits and my whole entire bathing suit collection will be coming shortly because i just thought of a new video idea and i'm super hyped as for right now i am not gonna get ready for bed but i am gonna talk about my skincare products because so many people have been asking me about skincare and then i think i'm just gonna end the vlog because i don't want it to be too long so let me go get my skincare products and i'll show you what i do okay so for my skincare literally the only thing i use is axone gel 7.5 it looks like this and it is prescribed for my dermatologist so you can't just get it at a walgreens or anything like that it does need to be prescribed but i highly recommend this if you are able to get it because it cleared up my skin so fast knock on wood but um 
I really, really like this. And the only thing I wash my face with is Dove Sensitive Skin Soap Bar. So definitely recommend that. As for everything else, that's really all I use for skincare, which is why I didn't make a huge video on it because there's not really much else I can say. And yeah, I think I'm going to end the video here. I know it's only like 8 o'clock now. It is going to start getting dark soon. So I'm just going to end the video and kind of just relax, probably watch a movie. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked it, please remember to give it a huge thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And comment down below video ideas you want to see because I do need some. Thank you again so much for watching. and I'll see you next time. Bye.